Central Texas News Leader. You're watching KXAN Austin News. As Austin's old Miller Airport gave way to the construction of a brand new mixed-use neighborhood, the airport's iconic flight control tower languished in the background. But now that tower is about to be bathed in a top-to-bottom restoration that will take it back to its original 1961 appearance. The ultimate use of the building's interior is still to be decided, but only on KXA and Austin News here at 5. Our Jim Swift tells us it will include two condominiums of a sort. The old Miller Airport Tower has stood its ground for just over half a century now. But during the past few years, age, weather, and vandalism created a mess. For many years, no one was paying attention to it. Development that we were doing was a long ways from here, and uh, uh, vandals could get near the building without anyone noticing, and that's quickly changing with, you know, with development all around the towers. Now, though, Catellus Development Group, the company that is overseeing the Miller Project, says it will finish restoring the exterior of the building within two months. Deciding on a use for the inside will take longer, but neighbors are already floating lots of ideas. Anything from residences to observation towers to uh, uh, exercise facility. Uh, <laughs> I mean, everything across the board. It'll work for that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's quite, as you know, uh, a lot of work to get up this tower right now without an elevator uh, that we can use. With no working elevator available, our trip to the top of the building required a trek up a long series of stairs passing by broken windows in the walls and piles of dead wasps on the floor. And that, as it turned out, was not the only thing dead in the place. In the corner of what was once the tower's flight control center were the remains of a young barn owl lying on the floor. He definitely was attacked. Yeah. Poor kid. How old do you think he was? He was about eight to nine weeks. Fortunately, the dead owlet's brothers and sisters fared better. In fact, two breeding pairs of barn owls have been raising families in the tower for at least five years. We could find bones of the rat or whatever they ate in there. Sally Delahousi, a wildlife rehabilitator with over 30 years of experience, says the birds feed on mice and rats in the open area around the building and then regurgitate what they can't digest. There's the upper mandible, there's the skull. All of this fascinates neighbors of the tower who have convinced Catellus to permanently set aside two rooms for the owls to call home, no matter what else gets done here. Jim Swift, KXAN.